Welcome to the Bible Lab, where we will test the untestable. Today we will experiment with the count of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Before we begin with our experiment, I'll sum up the account from Daniel chapter 3. Nebuchadnezzar has the idea to set up a golden image for all to worship. The image is about 90 feet tall, so everyone can see it. When the band starts to play their instruments, everyone must bow down and worship the image. Anyone refusing to worship the image will be thrown into a fiery furnace. This is a big problem for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then comes the trouble. The Chaldeans, a group that probably couldn't even get a friend on Facebook. They went to the king and accused the Hebrews of not bowing to the image. So the king brought the three Hebrews before him and asked them about this. The three stand firm and refuse to worship the image. This makes Nebuchadnezzar very angry and then orders them to be thrown into the furnace. Because he is extremely angry, he makes the furnace seven times hotter than it should be. It is so hot that the guards end up dying, but Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego are not harmed at all. The Nebuchadnezzar sees not three, but four men in the fire, and the fourth looks like the Son of God. After the three come out of the fire, there is no evidence that they were standing in the fire. They didn't even smell like they had been to a campfire. So how did this happen? Is it possible that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had an explainable way to be fireproof? Let's test some theories of what might have happened other than it being a miracle from God. Oh, my assistant and I will now test some very different theories concerning the fiery furnace, since our lab rats were killed in action. We are now using marshmallows as our test subjects. Our first experiment will be our, our control, using marshmallows with no fire preventative. Oh yeah! Safety first, at least for me. For our first theory, we will check the fire prevention strength of water. Perhaps there was a downpour that soaked the Hebrew children. What better protection is there than hand sanitizer? Perhaps Shad, Mesh, and Abed covered themselves with a protective coating of this gelatinous armor. That's done. Our final theory is that the three did a Google search for a Pinterest DIY fire preventative spray. After extensive testing in our high-tech laboratory, we were not able to reproduce any instance of an increased level of fire protection. It must have been a miracle of God. Next time you are reading your Bible and you encounter an unexplainable situation, it is God. <laughs>